And we have a famous blue screen here. Maybe there are some people uh, who want to see the result of the, of the final uh, challenge. Oh, there's a goal. <laughs> who is it? Okay. So um, we start with, let's call them uh, Team One, because they, um, Team Handy Laura, Team One. Um, uh, do you have a nice name or s also, or because otherwise you will be Team? The Orange Musketeers. The Orange Musketeers. Okay, then we have Team Handy Laura and Team Orange Musketeers. Let's, um, who's going to do the presentation here? I'm going to hand the, 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 the mic to someone that's going to do that. Who does, yeah? You are? Okay, great. Uh, welcome, uh, we're the team Handy Laura. We've created a solution uh, for future to help people um, yeah, with uh, uh, protestic uh, hands. We made a protestic hand. Um, yeah. So I need to tell what we have changed. <coughs> All right, um, well, normally, um, yeah, but you can 3D print the, the hand, and normally it works, wow. <laughs> uh, normally you can bend the fingers with your, uh, the movement of your wrist, like this. So if you do this, the fingers close, but um, what you want is the movement of your wrist, you want to yeah, use that to pick up stuff, and not to only use uh, closed fingers. So, to yeah, help that, <laughs> we we have installed a motor that closes the fingers, and we have also another motor that's used the the thumb, so you can do that separately. Is that enough? Yeah, and then uh, we added uh, uh, a LoRa module to um, make it configurable over the internet, so you can. Um, like enable or disable the hand, the fingers or the thumb by my phone. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, you activate the hand by um, by your uh, elbow to your uh, side of your uh, body. Yeah, that's the design, but uh, that's uh, really cool. But uh, you're waiting for this demonstration, so uh, we're gonna enable her. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, first of all, we have to uh, get it to power. Of course, uh, it's uh, low power enough for uh, a battery. We have to wait uh, for it to calibrate. It calibrates it automatically, so it's all built in. Clocked uh, calibration at uh, eight minutes, uh, eight seconds. <laughs> okay, we're gonna close the fingers now first uh, without a bottle, just to see. Like you see, it's closed now, and we can open it again. I think so. Okay, now I'm gonna use the. Before we're gonna use the bottle, I'm uh, gonna disable uh, the fingers or the thumb. I don't know which one was which. Uh, please do this. Ah, AA, I send it. Okay, now the message is sent. Um, can you close the connection again? Now the thumb is not working. So, and we can enable that again, just by my phone, with a simple button. And then, if everything is okay, they both close again. Um, now, this was the configurable part. We can do the same for the uh, fingers as well, just uh, only the thumb. Now we're gonna try uh, to pick up uh, the bottle. This is really, yeah, do it from the chair, just for security. Does anyone want a drink? Everyone? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it, it's it's less weight, so. <laughs> okay, you ready? Oh, on chair.
That doesn't work because the crowd is really boring. They don't cheer, so. <laughs> and it works, yes. <laughs> Um, after this demonstration, we just want to uh, give some advantages. Uh, this is a really cheap design. You only need a 3D printer to print it, and a really cheap uh, motors. Because of our gear system, uh, we distribute the power uh, in a good way, in a, in a good motion. So um, you can use really cheap, uh, low-power motors. Uh, second of all, it's hot swappable. We tried. Um, 15 minutes ago, our motor died, so we had to replace it in a really short time, and it's possible. So that's another uh, thing. And it's quite easy to make. If you have like uh, our models, you can put it easy together. Um, yeah. So it's a quite an easy design. Um, yeah. And uh, at last, we want to thank you, Eric and uh, Sasha, for uh, the opportunity here to uh, yeah enrich our knowledge and uh, help to make the world a better place. Thank you. We have one uh, person that uh, wasn't at the project. <laughs> Do you have any questions? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Uh, oh, yes. We have, like, um, I if we have the pads, we, d we didn't have the materials to r make it r quite work. But if you have the right materials, then you can do, like, the fu you touch this, and then close, and touch it again, and it opens. So, y if you walk, you you walk, and then you do this, and it closes, and it opens again. There's a small delay, so you don't get surprised by it. <laughs> yeah, so you can press, and then you can go to it, and then it closes. So you have a delay of like 700 milliseconds. Yeah, but you, a you actually want like metal pads that touch each other or, so or something. Yes. Yeah, so you, you're not really where it's like this, trying to pick it up. Yeah. What is happening at the moment? <laughs> it's a little bit entangled, so it's probably shortened somewhere. Is it still shortened? Wait. Just hope you don't. Do you have one question? Yeah, but if you have, uh, y y if you walk, you don't really touch it really hard. And if you are making a long walk, you can use your phone and turn it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can use other stuff as well, like uh, a remote. It Thank you for your attention. So we are the Orange Musketeers. Uh, we're a 
few team members short, sadly, uh, they couldn't make it, uh, but they're in our hearts. So what was the problem with the original hand? Uh, and we're gonna add a bit to what they told us before. And one of the main one is how it's actuated, which is by using the wrist, as we heard. And uh, like, if you lost your fingers and you got your palm, palm of your hand left, then using the little movement you got left to actuate the hand is like pretty bad. And if you lost more than your arm and you have to actuate it by flexing your entire arm, it's also really bad. Uh, moreover, it's, yeah, it's pretty not usable. It's uh, sweaty and kind of ugly. I don't, I don't know, it's kind of mixed about that. Uh, and yeah. Sure, user left hand has been a model, by the way. <laughs> We had a basic idea. Um, first of all, we needed better movement because of you. You will, you will lo lose your wrist movements if you use the old design. Um, we needed some kind of actuator, actuator mechanism. Um, yeah, you will see that pretty soon. Um, we also used two, type, uh, two of the same sensors, um, tilt sensors, to monitor what you are doing with your arm. Uh, yeah, like I said, the tilt sensors, uh, maybe we should have, you also used the touch in the middle of your palm. So if you actually want to grip something like the bottom, you first have to touch it before it actually grips. Uh, we used, uh, after the tilt sensors, we used an Arduino to actually control the entire thing. Um, um, yeah. uh, the Arduino um, powered the servo motor which pulled back the swivel pin and uh, what was it called? Some kind of tree, I <laughs> uh, don't know the name again, which in their turn pulled fingers back. So uh, when we started working, uh, we started first with, with a purely mechanical solution because we thought that if we leave out the sensor, then we, there would still be a lot of ways to improve the current design. Uh, and we started working on uh, little gears in a box and um, we couldn't print it and so we des decided to go with the second uh, step, uh, which is including the actuators and the sensors so we can close the loop. Uh, so what we had in mind is a little bit different than the first team. Uh, we are not aiming at people who have their smartphones ready, but we want everything in th in the arm so you, that you can just, uh, or in the hand, so that you can just give the device and it's all included without any buttons or switches. So um, we wanted to go for movement data and we didn't have an accelerometer, we didn't have a gyro, so we just, just had a few tilt sensors and we started with two. And uh, what we did is uh, look at, can we find some movements that we can re reliably uh, predict and find and, and use for actuators. Um, because the basic idea of our design is that the arm, when you are touching someone, and the arm already knows what he wants to do because you uh, slow down when you approach the object, you, you move there, and you already have a lot of information in just the movement data there. So if you use that information, then you can predict that your hand needs to grasp, and if you have more sensors there, then you can, um, well, you can know that you are near an object and, and that you touch the object or that the object is already on the table. So, let's see if it works. <laughs> this is our amazing hand. We don't have a good hand model who can 
like fit into it. Uh, luckily, we might add. Uh, so I'm going to try and hold it as uh, impartially as I can and try to make it open using a gesture or close it by make using a gesture rather. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, closed, open, closed, open. It works. It, it works, yeah. It would have been more impressive with a little better motor that would have been strong enough for it, but yeah. And this was fine-tuned for a couple of hours only, so. Do you think you can uh, pick up this model? Absolutely. We need a bigger bottle there. Oh, we can use a cup there. There's an empty cup. Mm -hmm. Do you think this would work? Uh, no, I'm gonna fling it all over the room. Do we have some video here? <laughs> we have one extra slide <laughs> because we ran out of time and what we wanted to do is tweak this a little bit more. We tested it and we could pick up an empty bottle, um, but th uh, there are some, well, you saw it, it doesn't, doesn't work on the uh, full bottle uh, yet. And we want to add more behavior, so the release mechanism also use it in a different position, not only upright, but also when you hold it like this. Uh, better sensors, uh, an accelerometer would be really nice, and you have uh, lots of trajectory data, and then use that in the software as well. And a longer arm for the motor and better motor mechanical parts, I think. Uh, like the arm on the servo motor, the yeah, the lever. Oh, we need a strong motor to. We need a stronger motor to turn a bigger arm as well. So yeah. Shaking it. <laughs> we didn't have time to implement further gestures, sadly. Uh, but there's a variety of things we could do. Oh uh, yes, uh, the solution we have in mind there is basically that the movement stops when you have the, the object on the table. So that would be one of the release mechanisms, like if you hold your hands. Uh, but it would be difficult because then you could, well you could use sensor to, to um, know if you have any weight in your in your hands, so if there's something pulling down, or if you have it on the surface, because if if you have it on the surface, it's probably safe to release it. 
And if you don't have it there, then, well, sometimes <laughs> we can figure something out, I'm sure. But so basic, uh, just putting it on the table, it's, it's easy. I'm a biomedical engineer, uh, almost. I'm an owner of an IT startup, and I studied artificial intelligence. I am a human technologist student, and I have one year of ICT experience. Yeah. That's it.
Okay, we, um, our mechanic, uh, our, our engineer quickly returned. How great is that? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so um, let's, uh, let's sit a little bit closer here, you guys. Maybe we can handy Laura here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's first uh, thank all our... Uh, yeah. Because it was great. And I see we have some new uh, uh, people there. Um, how nice. Because, <laughs> so, um, uh, of course, as you uh, noticed, probably, we, it took us quite a while to, uh, to well, d to discuss all these topics. Basically, we have like uh, three um, things that we needed, that at least we thought um, are equally important and we should give grades to them. So three topics. And the first one is the, the mechanical uh, execution. Uh, so which hand grips the best? And then there is the, uh, the sensor system, or the, uh, also the, the origi originality, how it's actuated. So how, how do you switch it on and switch it off? And then, um, and of course, uh, last but not least, we also thought about the whole presentation and the, the ID behind it, you know? So uh, what is the quality of the, the whole systems uh, thinking? Yeah, uh, and we all, all members of the jury, we uh, we gave points on a scale of uh, one to ten, and then at the end uh, we just added it up, and it gave a, a grade for both teams, and uh, and the difference was only very small, so um, we gave, you know, uh, different grades just what we thought, and we all were unanimous. So at least uh, we agreed on that, yeah? So um, let's say uh, first, okay, I, I know you're very nervous, but I'm going to explain all the topics nicely. The mechanical actuation, um, of course, we had seen that uh, the team Handy Laura, the, at least they picked up the whole, uh, the bottle. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, that was cheated. We, we saw that was cheated all the, uh, everywhere, all over the place. But... They had, a, they had a few nice options. It was, uh, the hand was fully decoupled. The motor was on the, the palm, you know, and not on the wrist anymore, which was good. You knew that, of course. We took that into account, but you didn't implement it. So, and this is about the me mechanical system. So they did a good job. We liked your little uh, 3D printed parts, but they also had very nicely pr 3D printed parts. So, hmm, darn. Then... Um, what was very nice is that they, uh, they had the, the, the separately controlled thumb and fingers, which was really nice. Controlling it with uh, you. So controlling it with uh, Laura one um, really sucks in the third world because there's no router there. So it's just not going to work. So we, we thought, okay, maybe we can give you a, a little bonus point, but okay. You know, it's not, it's not that big an advantage. Though it was made very nicely, our compliments. Our jury was very impressed by that, yes. So, um, and I must say that the, the hand just worked better. You know, it opened, it closed, it was really neat. It was a nice gear, we liked the gear. It was put on the side, it was very flat, it was good, yeah? So, okay, my compliments, our compliments. Am I forgetting something? Because then you can hop in. Now, um, of course, we, uh, the next thing was the, the, the activation, the sensor system. So um, the first uh, uh, sensor system, well, it was a was really cheap sensor system, which was good because we need to use it in the third world. Uh, we liked the idea of the time delay, so you switch, <laughs> and, then, and then you wait, and your, <laughs> and your mic drops, you know? So it's nice. Um, well, was it that nice? Well, it was at least, it was a little bit, it was a little bit cheap. It didn't work. Uh, so at least, uh, you know, the, it wasn't implemented very well. Um, we saw the, the acceleration activated uh, thing. Of course, the sensor that you use, the tilt sensor, wasn't very suitable uh, for this kind of uh, detection uh, because you need a, a decent uh, accelerometer. And if you have a good accelerometer, we actually could think that with a very small movement, very tiny small movement, or maybe two times, then you could 
actually say, hey, there's something going on here and I'm open or close. I toggle. Huh? So, and it took us, well, maybe a minute or so, but when we thought about it, we thought, this might work. So this actually might work. And there's one really, really use a huge advantage of that system because there are no wires. It's all in the self-contained system. So this is so nice because it's just the hand. Everything is self-contained in the hand, you know? It's nice that you agree, by the way. Um, the logic is um, a little bit more complex, of course, uh, because you have to detect that motion, have maybe an AD converter, uh, a little bit more expensive uh, micro inside, do some more calculations. Yours is very simple, just wait and then it opens. But then again, I said, okay, and, and I had to, uh, we talked about this, and since you can buy for like uh, 16 cents, you can buy a microcontroller that really does anything of all these logic because it's so simple. We, uh, we thought, okay, this is not a really big difference because if there is a microcontroller in this device, it either can make the time delay or the little movement. Yeah, so equal score there. Now then the, the presentation. Yeah, the presentation was of course, um, well, there was a big minus of course because you started too late. We had to, you kept us waiting for half an hour and then it still didn't work very well. So we have to uh, subtract one point or so. But uh, the presentation was very good. Uh, we liked uh, the, the, your slides. Um, we liked your slides as well. You have been, uh, you know, sitting here for half an hour, um, but their slides were nicer. And there was really something that was, was a big difference. And that was the whole, the systems thinking, the system engineering aspect from your presentation. You know, the flow chart with the, and every, the how, how you uh, uh, detect and how this leads to action in the gripping device. We liked that very much. So a very mature uh, system with a lot of opportunity um, and, and um, yeah, for, for improvement in the, in the future. So if you, if you would have had like one day more, this would probably have been a really nice hand, yeah? Um, if you had had one day more, you probably would have activated the switch and have a nice implemented. Yeah. So, then we added it all, and now the moment is there. We had a, 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 a score difference of uh, an average of less than uh, one point, roughly a point. Well, less, no, it's less, uh, point 0.7 or so. And uh, yeah, when we added it all, we came to the conclusion that the uh, winner, here, winner are the orange musketeers. Yes. But before we go on, then we had some prizes and we thought, okay, this is a very small difference. So we, we decided to, uh, we are going to divide the prizes a little bit between the two teams uh, because, but of course, the only thing that really counts is this little uh, trophy. It looks very simple, but this is it, you know, that's why you're done it. And, and you can put it on your mantle or it's a very nice, you know, you're in your room. Yeah, and they printed them themselves already. <laughs> so, <laughs> that doesn't matter. These are made with love by Sashin here, yeah? So, uh, I, uh, I would like to uh, have you, the, uh, of course, the winning, the winning team, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the winning team of the 3D Medical Challenge, Team Orange Musketeers, yay! Applause. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, you can. And uh, Sashin will hand uh, he ha will hand over the the trophies. Hey, wait, wait, wait! I want to thank my mom. <laughs> uh, maybe um, at the right moment we can all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> okay, do we have that? Do we also have a picture? Great. Well, 
Then we have a, uh, can you take that? Um, because we have a very nice, uh, you didn't know that, but we also uh, have a very nice gifts. And uh, because this is a, a campus party and there's a lot of virtual stuff going on and real stuff and this connects it all. So you have uh, this very nice uh, VR uh, glasses for your cell phone. And uh, I hope you, um, you don't get sick of it because I tried it for a brief while and I was really, I didn't like it much, but I think you're going to like it actually, yes. Then, um, let's uh, give a small applause to the winners here again. And then the runners up, thank you. The, run, the runners up, that's you. <laughs> because we, um, we noticed that you, um, since you don't have a trophy, but you have the file, and maybe uh, it's possible to uh, print out your own trophy, and that's why we are giving you a, a nice spool of 3D printing material. <laughs> yep. It's a good quality from Ultimaker, sponsored by Ultimaker, the, the real stuff. Now I really need to bring it back. <laughs> and now you can print your own uh, trophy. So, um, but thank you very much. It was very close. And I would say that you have a very, done a very good job too. So let's thank our runners up here. Maybe, uh, did, can, you, can you make a, take a picture? Again. Oh, you already did that? Okay, because maybe you can uh, make a happy move, okay. All right. Thank everybody that's here for witnessing this, uh, this yeah, great yeah, event. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh, how sporty, yay. <laughs> Let me let me in between. I, I like that. Just one just one picture. Well, well um, yeah. Um, let's let's first to you. I will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll go here. Yay. <laughs> I must say uh, thank you for your uh, tremendous uh, energy in doing this, yeah? Okay. <laughs>